Hey guys, I'm Lindsay. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you are returning, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And today I'm going to be attempting to put a drainage hole in this uni cute pot because, well, it doesn't have one and I wanted to have a drainage hole. So what I did was, of course, I took to YouTube and looked up a couple tutorials and I went with the one that just resonated with me the most, one over at Epic Gardening. I'll link the original tutorial in the description box if you want to check that out. But basically, the way it works is he recommends using these this diamond tip drill bit that I purchased off of Amazon. I think it was like a four pack for $7 or something. I'll link that in the description as well and a drill he does say that it's pretty foolproof method and i'm just going to try it you do need to lay a towel down under your pot before you start all of this and what he suggests you do you lay this sideways so you're just starting to make a little dent or impression and once you get that shape that half moon impression then you're gonna and go straight down in gently so that's exactly what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to reposition the camera so you can see what I am doing. Please don't let me break this pot. I did it. <laughs> Let me tell you about that. It only took about nine minutes. Probably you'll see a super forwarded version, but it took nine minutes. It took me a weakling quite a while to make start making a moon shaped dent to fill that thing into. And eventually I just stopped caring about going nice and slow and just was drilling as fast as I can because I was over it. But hey, I did it. It worked. So now it's time to plant a plant in here. And I asked everyone over on my Instagram if they thought I should put the string of hearts in here or the string of pearls in here. And the majority vote goes to the pearls. So I am going to be giving this lady some string of pearls hair. I am going to use Espoma Organic Cactus Mix, which I like. And I think I'm just gonna add some extra perlite to it. And that's it. To mix the dirt, I'll be using this Halloween bucket that I use to mix all my soil. Some pretty shallow roots. A bunch of them are stuck to um, 
some of this bark that was in here. It looks like pine bark maybe. So I'm just going to leave it like that. There we go. Oh yeah, that's exactly where I want the hair. I kind of uprooted some stuff by mistake. This was not like this before, but it's fine. It's hair. There she is looking cute with her new style oh let me share some watering tips with you okay <coughs> <coughs> oh I should recommend maybe you wear a mask when you're doing all that drilling thing because I breathed in a lot of porcelain dust so yeah okay so watering the string of pearls i'm going to share with you something that i learned that has helped me keep this plant alive and i learned this from watching nick Pelegi's channel he's very good very informative so basically i'm going to show you my variegated so you can see an example what he says is and i i live by this is when the pearls on the end are dull this is when you know it is time to water okay i, I don't know how well you can see this but the pearls on this string are pretty shiny. They're not, they're not dull. And the new ones coming out down here are really shiny. So I would know that I shouldn't water this. This string of pearls, however, is just really dull, really dull all around. <laughs> some of these, some of these are even a little wrinkly which don't do what i do you don't need to let it get wrinkly that might be a little too much but when these are shiny no water when these start to get dull then it's time for water so that is the best tip i have learned about these pearls <coughs> <coughs> wear a mask when you're drilling pots that is the best tip i have learned about string of pearls that I got from Nick Pelegi's channel. Like I said, he's so awesome. And it has really helped me keep my pearls alive. Help me not murder them. If your pearls look anything like mine, they also have all this spectacular um, cat hair intertwined with all the pearls. So kind of makes it look like real hair. Okay. All right, that is all I have for you today i hope you found this video a little helpful and maybe gave you the courage to try doing your own drainage hole i like i said i'm going to be linking the original tutorial and the materials i used to make this drainage hole and that's all i got for you today so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up Ooh. wear a mask when you are drilling a drainage hole and subscribe to my channel hit the bell so you don't miss any videos 